Hey guys, this is uh, Jenna Man Dan doing a little helper video here. Um, got a couple of questions after I built this plane. This is my uh, uh, RC Powers MiG-29 that I put a 64 millimeter fan in, and what I did was make a uh, Depron uh, ducted tube uh, for the fan. As you can see, uh, top and bottom to uh, direct the airflow. Uh, from the fan and a couple of people had asked uh, you know how I got that shape and uh, and what else so I was gonna do a quick demonstration um, the idea actually came from uh, uh, Dan at RC test flight uh, on YouTube um, he's the one that actually had the idea for the uh, the under camber wing on the uh, on the slow trainer that he builds but I built one as well and you can see the leading edge of the wing is rolled over Basically, it's as simple as Depron seems to be able to take heat, and you can then uh, use the heat to roll it, and then when it cools down, it, uh, it, it forms up again. So really, all I do is I take a, a rounded over surface. This is my, my clothes dryer. It's got a nice rounded edge, and it's as simple as taking some heat. Uh, you can use um, you know a lighter, which I don't recommend. I'm going to use my heat gun. I can control the heat pretty well and, uh, and can do it. So I'm going to turn my heat gun on and let it warm up for a second. And it's as simple as taking your piece of Depron and running it over the heat. And what will happen is that you actually see the Depron change colors. So they get a little bit darker. And when you've done that, you take it and you start rolling it over the surface that you're trying to bend it on. So you do that. Heat it a little bit more, try not to burn yourself, um, and then roll it some more. And what you're doing is you're setting the heat into the foam, and as you do this little by little, you start getting a nice curve. So you can do this some more, as much or as little as you want. I have my heat gun on a low setting, and then you keep rolling and bending as you go. And the cool thing is, is that you can keep adjusting the shape as much as you want. More curve or less curve. When you heat it, it tends to straighten out a little bit. So, you got to make sure you just keep doing this over and over. And, and as you can see, I just cracked it because I was trying to do it too fast. But if you do it slowly, and you're careful, what you'll end up with is a curve. And that curve, if you do it slowly enough, and yeah, I cracked it, I want to show you, but that does happen quite a bit, it's a piece, but, off. what you can see is that the best one ends up getting a little bit thinner, but you end up with a nice curve, so a little bit of heat, a little bit of rolling, a little bit of heat, a little bit of rolling, and if you do it right, and I got lucky on these, you end up with what looks like an almost perfect curve shape, and it allows you to do stuff like ducting for an EDF, or making a fuselage or uh, a nacelle for a plane if you're trying to do multiple motors and that's just the technique I use and now this is cooled and now it's 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 pretty hard I mean it's it will not take the shape will not take the shape back out so as you can see you get a nice shape to it what you can also do is use this to make kind of a an airfoil wing you can probably roll the wing and then if you want to take a, a flat piece of Depron and make a flat bottom, then there you got, all of a sudden you have a, like a Cessna airfoil shape for a wing, and you can put some little uh, side pieces in there to strengthen it up. But that would make, a, if you do it on a long piece, that would make a really good like a, a Cessna or a high wing trainer wing. So anyway, that's how, you, uh, that's how I roll my Depron, and as you can see, the results, uh, when you take your time, this is actually the first one I had done. Um, came out pretty good, pretty even. So that's uh, just letting you guys know how I do it and uh, hope to help you guys out and start making some custom stuff. Gentleman Dan signing off.